Uh, let's jump into some scrimmage stuff, gentlemen. Scrimmage number two happened uh, just this last Sunday. It had the whole kind of feeling of a game. They had music. They had warm-ups. They actually got to stay in Doak this entire time. They were under the lights. Uh, four quarterbacks participated. You know, we didn't hear anything about McKenzie Milton, J. Trav, from what we saw, no turnovers. Uh, played well. Then you also had Chubba Purdy, who I think is really excelling right now, Nate. You know, we, we've talked about him quite a bit, but it seems like he's getting into a rhythm now with that quarterback room, getting that offensive down. Because if you think about it, he wasn't here this whole offseason. He's having to build that chemistry with those wide receivers, tight ends, running backs. And it seems like he's starting to get a groove there, which is great to see. Because now, you know, you're, everybody's talking about what's going on with Milton. You know, who's going to be your peer number two if there's something that goes wrong, you know? But, yeah, just maybe the quarterback conversation, gentlemen. You know, it seems like Jordan Travis continues to take that lead as a starter uh, against Notre Dame. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Logan, it's starting to seem like, you know, maybe you you got all of us. You know, you were, you've been behind it from the beginning that Jordan Travis was – going to be the starting quarterback at Notre Dame. And, you know, over the last week and a half, 10 days or so, I've kind of started to agree with you just because of what appears to be some uncertainty with McKenzie Milton, but obviously nothing confirmed. Uh, Every quarterback on the roster is phenomenal. Um, You know, when when you look at at that position group, um, you know, there can be no wrong. Um, Whoever the starting quarterback is, I'm ready to write out with the – with the Seminoles of uh, FSU, <laughs> oh my but God. but yeah. but my real answer is that <laughs> um, it, it's great to see that Chuba is getting into a routine. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I've said since he right on campus that you know you know physically gifted, probably the most gifted quarterback that's on the roster. Um, you know, I still think he's going to play a role um, at Florida State, and he's going to have a say on, on who's going to be the starter. Um, you know, I haven't lost. Um, you know, my confidence in him, I, I know there's been some, some frustration with some him off the field and some, some, some time with the coaches, and, and I, I can understand that. Um, but it's good to see him coming around. Um, you know, it's good to see that Travis is continually improving and, and sounds like that, you know, he's been extremely consistent. And then, you know, you have Milton, you know, you, you, know, you have that, – that's the wild card. Uh, right now, in my opinion, on, on what happens with the season, either it, it, Norvell, yeah, either Norvell's doing some crazy game planning and just really tricking with Notre Dame and Brian Kelly, or it's actually real that you know it really is the Jordan Travis show moving forward. Um, I, uh, it, I don't it, see that. I don't see how that can be because you've got a quarterback that just got on campus, still understanding, trying to build chemistry, and now you don't see him participate in the second scrimmage, you um, know, which stinks. That, I think that would be a case if he arrived, you know, in the summer, but he's been at Florida State now since January. So I, I'm not really concerned about the, you know, building that, that relationship with the whiteouts and the tight ends and the running backs because he's someone that um, was, was leading that charge in, in the offseason. So I'm not really concerned about that. Um, it, it's just the flow of the game. And, and we saw in the spring game, he's, he, he's a gamer. But, you know, you have to be healthy going into that, you know, that, that first game of the season. And, and if Travis has been the most consistent and, you know, been, been the one that's getting the reps and been the one that's getting, you know, the, the flow of the offense, and that's the route you have to go. So, you know, I, I, I'm just excited that, you know, we're a week out. So, you know, whoever's the starter is whoever the starter is. Um, and, and I'm, I'm ready to roll. Yeah, and I mean, so far, you know, Mike Norvell has stayed pretty coy on the situation, not saying really that one quarterback is ahead of the other. And, you know, honestly, there's not really, I would say, much upside to Florida State naming a starter prior to the Notre Dame game because it'll just give the Irish, you know, the signal caller to put their focuses on. Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, I think you should just continue this thing all the way up until kickoff, you know. Make them be confused. Make them prepare for every scenario, and then hopefully they'll mess something up. Yeah, why not? Screw with them. Screw with Brian Kelly. Nate loves Brian Kelly, so I think he's on. Uh, oh, can't yeah, wait for no, next week. Is, <laughs> is, yeah, uh, when we preview, when we preview Notre Dame, I invited Dame. him on. Actually, we were oh, emailing oh. earlier today. Me and Brian Kelly. Side, 
SIDs over there up there in Notre Dame? Oh, no, Nate I just go to them directly. Oh, is that right? <laughs>